hi everyone what's up how are you all so in this video i'm gonna show you how to take a backup of your wordpress website i will show you how to take a full backup and how to take a partial backup so without further ado let's get started all right we are inside the cpanel now just go to backup or backup wizard i will go to backup and here you have two options here one is full backup and partial backups so full backup is used when you are trying to uh, change the web hosting so this will create a RK of all your files in the website so let me show you how full backup works just click on download a full account backup here you will have to select the destination I will keep the destination as same and uh, enter your email because you are going to get an uh, email when your backup is ready I will give my email and uh, click on generate backup now this will start generating the backup so as you can see the full backup is in progress so it will create a backup of all your files on your website and uh, it will be ready to download you can easily download it to your computer and uh, use that file to change your web hosting I will show you how to do that hang in with me for a second we can also go back this will be uh, running in the background if we go back you can see that our backup is ready to download we also got an email from cPanel saying that your full backup is complete and is ready to download so to download this file all you have to do is just click on this file and uh, this will start downloading your backup since I don't need this backup I will cancel it so this is how you can take a full backup to your computer and upload this file when you change the hosting now let me show you where this file is located on your server just go back to cPanel and select file manager here if you scroll down you will see a file with the name backup so this is the file if you want you can right click and download it from here as well so you can download you can delete just download this file and when you take a new hosting go to the cPanel and uh, upload this file and extract it and this will back up all your website so let me delete this file I don't need it we are done with the full backup it is only used when we are changing the web hosting because you cannot uh, fully backup your WordPress website from the cPanel so for that you have to use uh, partial backups partial backups are nothing but uh, you're downloading the home directory that is your WordPress website first then you will download your MySQL databases then you will download your uh, email forwarded so you're downloading all this separately so let me show you how it is done just click on home directory and uh, this will start downloading the home directory that is your WordPress website then if you want to download your MySQL just click on this database and uh, it will start downloading the database for you to download the email forwarders just click on the forwarders that you have so we have successfully downloaded these three backups partially after taking the partial backup of these files so to restore a home directory just click on choose file and uh, select the file which you have just downloaded then to restore the MySQL database just click on choose file go to your downloads and uh, select the files that you have just downloaded this one just click open and click on upload then to restore email forwarders you have to follow the same steps just choose the files that you have downloaded and uh, click on upload and this will back up your website that's about it today we learned how to take the full backup when you are changing the web hosting and uh, how to take the partial backup of your WordPress website using cPanel if you want more tutorials on cPanel and WordPress you can check out my channel and if you found this video valuable, don't forget to give a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.